Hey, Terry here. Welcome back to the Times Gone Tech and my ongoing video series on uh, DIY homemade percussion caps for black powder firearms. Got my notes printed up here because I don't want to leave anything out on this one. Um, now, before I get started, I want to remind y'all that um, my videos on percussion cap making at home are being presented for educational and entertainment purposes only. It does involve the use of a priming compound known as Primol or H48, which is relatively safe when used properly. However, if it's mishandled or misused, can be dangerous. Um, once the compounds are mixed, it is an explosive compound. So make sure you're not breaking any laws in your jurisdiction and follow appropriate safety protocols. Okay, now having said that, I do have a couple of other things I want to Go over real quick before I get started in today's video. First, um, using metal from aluminum cans for making caps. Um, I've got to say that in uh, the video that I made, actually two parts that I did last year, also using aluminum cans, I was not very happy with the results. And I chalked some of that up to my personal inexperience. It was my first attempt at making caps. But then I also blamed some of it, I guess, on aluminum. And several other viewers that had the same problems with aluminum and had suggested using copper instead. Well, I, if you watch the last three videos, I went back to using aluminum caps. This is part of what I, what I made um, just for a revisit. And I've got to say my opinion of aluminum has gone up by leaps and bounds. Um, they're working out fine. Uh, in my personal, albeit limited experience, I'm having no problems with aluminum whatsoever. They're stamping out great. They're forming uh, good, consistent, usable caps. Uh, I've, the last test, I had zero misfires, zero failures. Didn't shoot a lot of caps, but I still, you know, if, if I was having a 30 or 40 percent failure rate, I would have seen it. And we had zero failures. Had uh, I'm just, I'm really happy with aluminum. So I am going to test out copper in a future video, but I have to buy copper and that increases the cost of the caps. Whereas with these aluminum cans, I can scavenge those out of a, a ditch along the highway if I want to, or just buy soda in cans and you know, save the cans. Um, I'm getting on average around 80 caps per can. Be better if it was 100. But, you know, it is what it is. But, yeah, I'm getting 80 caps per can. So it doesn't take very many cans to make a lot of caps. You know, like um, 10 cans and I've got 800 caps. So the yield is pretty good on that. Second, um, well, one more thing also. I just want to show you this is what they look like after punching them out. You just get these long strips. They look kind of like caps from a cap gun roll where the caps have been fired. The next thing was this die. Now, this is the number 10 die. I also have a number 11 here. And all of the caps that I made both in this bowl and that I used in the last videos, I stamped out using this number 10 die. Now again, I got some comments from at least one viewer and I've had several comments in the past that um, they didn't like the number 10 die very well. The caps that they made from them just didn't work. And they suggested that I should use the number 11. Well, to be honest, I sat down and I tried them both out. And again, I just personally prefer this number 10 die. I mean, I stamped these things out just, you know, bang, bang, bang. Five minutes, I knocked out 80 of these things. And I've got two rejects. Two out of 80 that did not turn out usable. So I don't know what's going on here. Um, maybe I just got a really good die or maybe the viewers who don't like it just got a really bad one. I can't think of anything different that we could be doing. It's a really very simple operation. So um, I don't know. I would, my recommendation would be to buy both and just use whichever one works best for you. But 
From now on, unless something changes, unless I specify differently, all the caps that I make are going to be used with this number 10 die. So, next, today I'm going to be starting a test um, of a couple suggestions that viewers, again, have had. So, 22LR Reloader, who sells this kit, says they have a proprietary hardener added to one of these four ingredients, probably the white one, but added to one of these four ingredients that is activated when mixed with acetone. So you put a drop of acetone in your cap after you put the powder in, the acetone evaporates out, it activates the hardener, the hardener dries, and your primer is hardened down into the cap. Well, the problem is, it doesn't work with a crap if there is a hardener in there. I'm, I mean, if you pinch these things when you're putting them on the nipples, the primer just crumbles up and falls out. Drop it on a hard surface, primer falls out. Put them in one of these cap tins. You shake it around, put it in your shirt pocket, walk around with it, take it out. There's loose primer all over the inside of the tin. It just crumbles up and falls out. So the question is how to fix that. Well, several viewers have suggested a couple of ways, and I've thought of a way or two that I'm going to try out. So the most popular is the use of this Duco cement, or Duco, however you want to pronounce it. Um, the idea is that this is soluble in acetone, so you add a, a small amount. I'll get into that in a minute because there's some variation on that too, but you add a small amount to the acetone, and then this actually hardens the primer up a lot more when it cures out. Um, Duco cement is a nitrocellulose adhesive. And if that sounds familiar, that's because nitrocellulose is gun cotton. So I'm gonna try some of that. And then also, uh, I've heard that you could try adding a couple of drops of shellac to your acetone. Now I don't happen to have any shellac right now. I'm gonna get some and try it though. But that caused me to think about using lacquer. Now, there are two types of lacquer. One is shellac, dissolved in alcohol, and the other is a synthetic form, which is what I'm using. And uh, I did some tests on it, and it is also soluble in acetone. So I've made up a few caps, and uh, we're going to try lacquer out. And then I also had another idea about using super glue. Super glue is a cyanoacrylate adhesive. It also will dissolve in acetone, not as readily as nitrocellulose or lacquer, but it will dissolve. You just got to stir it up a little more um, without reacting with the acetone. That means the molecular structure of the cyanoacrylate isn't changed. It remains unaltered. So the idea is maybe these will help increase the durability of the caps so that can be handled a little more roughly and the primer not crumble up and fall out. And that might also help with another problem. And that is whenever I'm carrying black powder firearm out of doors, which I do quite often, here in the deep south, uh, the humidity can be atrocious most of the year. I mean, mid to upper 90s, you know, from... April through September, October, and even later sometimes. And while there are ways to help protect the caps from the elements, if I just put the caps on a revolver, put it in my holster, and I carry it around, I can carry them for about a week and still expect all six to shoot. But if I carry longer than that, I start getting misfires. So if I carry a revolver for, say, two weeks, and then I go to the range to shoot it, about half of them misfire. So I have to change the caps out about every, well, we're really every week if I want to make sure not get any misfires. But yeah, you know, if it's been two weeks since I've shot it, I need to change the caps before I take it out. So I'm kind of hoping that um, this Ducco or the super glue or the lacquer might improve the, the resistance to humidity. Because essentially what we're doing is encasing the Primal in a plastic matrix. So I'm going to try that out. 
Now, let me see here with my caps. Okay, how much natural cellulose to add? Well, several viewers have said five to eight percent. And if they go much over that, then it starts interfering with the performance of the primer. I saw one video where the guy making the cap said 25%. That's a four to one ratio, acetone to cement. Um, I'm going to compromise and aim for about 12%, 12 to 15%. And to be honest, I'm just going to guess. I'm going to use my calibrated eye and just guess at it because, I mean, this isn't rocket science, right? If it works great, fine. If it doesn't, I just make another batch and add a little less. And uh, we'll see what happens. Now, I've already made up 12 caps using um, lacquer and 12 caps using super glue. Again, both with also about a 20, 25% mixture. So I'm going to go with about a 12 to 15% mixture on this natural cellulose and see what happens. I've already got the caps punched out and I've got them charged. So I just need to mix this up with some acetone and uh, finish them up. Okay, I'm back. I got a little acetone. I'm gonna mix my Duco in, stir it up, try it out. Now, one of the things, my stirring stick here. One of the things you might notice, may have already noticed is my production processes here are not the best they could be. Um, I could streamline the production for making these caps a lot more efficiently than I am right now. And that's because right now I'm really more concerned about, I guess you could say the manufacturing method. And once I've got the best cap worked out, then I will work out the best process for the most efficient production. So I've got a few more videos to do here. So wait, let's, Put in, okay, that's about right. Get her stirred up. I'm gonna add a little more. That didn't seem like quite enough, to be honest. Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna add a drop or two into each Get my glasses on here, get my eyeballs on so I can see what I'm doing. Add a drop or two into each one. Okay, and that's it. Oh, missed one. There we go. Hey, missed another one. I'll put drop in it, another drop in it anyway. There. Okay, so. Recap, what I've got here, pick this up so you can see it. What I've got here is I've got a few caps made up using a synthetic lacquer mixed with the acetone as an extra hardener. I got a few caps made up having mixed super glue in with the acetone. And I've got a few caps that I've just made uh, using this natural cellulose duco cement as an extra hardener. I'm going to let these all cure out overnight and uh, I'll be back to try them tomorrow. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fire a few caps, just to let you know in the next part. I'm going to fire a few caps just to make sure that they shoot, all right? And assuming that they all work, I'm going to then go to some live fire and I'm going to see how well they work with a full charge behind them. Assuming that goes well, I, I'm going to load my revolvers with each one and then I'm just going to carry them around for a couple of weeks. And then I'm going to put some, whatever's left, in uh, one of these cans. Actually, three different cans because I want to keep them separate. Put them in a shirt pocket maybe and just uh, carry them around, jostle them around for a week or two. And um, come back and see how well they work out. So um, the idea here is to improve durability and longevity or moisture resistance, I guess you could say. So, stick around. I'll be back tomorrow with part two and uh, fire these off and see how they work.